Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at the wiki uh, server on Mountain Lion server. And I'm going to walk you through the different pages and how to customize those and how to get all of that stuff set up. So this is where we're at. Here we are on the main uh, wiki page. And so what you're going to want to do is click this lock to log in. Uh, I've already logged in myself so you can see that it is unlocked right now. And to and basically the, the neat thing about these pages is you can edit anything you want to on any of these pages. So for instance, all I need to do is to come up here and click this little pencil. And you'll see that a drop down of uh, editing options comes up here that I can do on this page. And then basically anything on here is edit editable. So I can say welcome to my server if I wanted to and save that. I'm just going to leave that alone for right now because I'm okay with how it's set up. Uh, I could say, okay, this down here gives me information about how to customize my wiki. You know, maybe I don't, uh, you know, want that information, so I can just delete it and it goes away and just kind of bring the bottom up. Or maybe I want to have more space so I can bring that down. Uh, I can also edit these buttons. Now, one of the things to understand is to set up these kind of buttons on the, on the server like this, where you've got, uh, where you want to divide a page up, is you've got to use what's called a table right here. And so uh, if I click add a new table to the page, for instance, you'll see this table comes up, looks just like this. And within this, I can kind of determine uh, whether I'm going to add a row or delete a row. And I can just keep deleting rows until... Uh, it gets to where I want it. Maybe I only want two. And then what happens is, is within this, I would just put in uh, pictures and things that I want inside here, and I could customize these shells. And so what you're seeing up here is basically uh, these grids right here where they've customized these shells here and then put the space and things like that in. All right, so that's kind of how you do that part. I'm going to definitely delete that and just kind of leave it alone. And so that's how you do those grids. Now, a couple of other things that you can do up here in terms of editing is you can add an attachment if you wanted to. Uh, you could add a photo and basically you just, it basically searches your computer and you upload a photo. So for instance, if I wanted to just up a, upload a photo, I choose a file, click upload, and it's added to my site. Uh, one thing you'll probably want to do is add it in a table so that it's easier to center and move around because you, it's not you can't really just move everything around it kind of it sits the way it is you can use uh, these things to center it or justify it right or left those kinds of things um, but it isn't quite a just kind of drag it and put it where you want it type of uh, editing uh, feature now you can also add audio uh, to your site so you can add an audio or a movie so if you wanted to you know link to movies or upload upload those kinds of things you can put them on there uh, I would recommend putting them on YouTube first and then maybe co copying the links over instead but you can definitely upload movies if you wanted to uh, do that kind of thing I showed you the table uh, you can also put an HTML snippet on the page which for instance if you've got a snippet for a video uh, from YouTube or something that you want to put on there you can put that snippet in there and embed it and that would add that to your website uh, all of these are your basic uh, editors in terms of your fonts, you know, what you want to do with your fonts, uh, sizes, uh, paragraphs, how you want, if you want to do headers and those kinds of things, it puts some basic uh, kind of HTML type things on there. Uh, you can also uh, do a new page, you can put a URL in there to link to it, you can link to other pages if you want to. Uh, it gives you those kind of options where you can just add those to any one of these words. Uh, and then you can do things like lists, if you want to do bulleted or numbered lists, and then you can also put in how far you want to tab things back and forth. So pretty simple, uh, not a ton of things that you can edit on there, but it does give you kind of a simple way of editing. And so you can see I took all that text off here, if I just click save, all of a sudden now all that text about telling me that I can edit the site goes away and now here I am with my customized page so uh, you can do a lot of different things with that to make that work so that gives you an idea on the front page now what I want to do is show you uh, a few other things here uh, if you look at this little uh, uh, plus button right here you can create a new page in your documents you can upload a file to your documents uh, which comes in handy if you want to share files through the web dev service uh, you can do a new blog post in your blog or a new wiki so what I want to do is I'm going to show you um, because it's me uh, I'm going to go to my user settings first and then I'll walk you through those different pages so let's click my user settings so this is my user uh, interface. All of your users have this interface that they can do. You can put in your name, your preferred email, and then you can check whether or not you want a blog or not for this user. 
So every user can create their own blog if they want, uh, just like you've seen on blogging websites. I'll show you what that looks like. You just check this, it'll set up the blog service. Then you can choose the, choose the appearance uh, that you want for your site, and you can choose an icon. And it usually will, def will default to uh, the icon that you've got for uh, your face on the server, but if you wanted something else, you could replace it simply just by clicking that uh, Replace button and uploading a photo. Uh, you can also choose a color scheme if you want to. And so, again, it, it is limited because you can't do a lot of customization, but you could choose a different uh, color scheme. Uh, you could also upload a banner image. Uh, it's got to be 124 pixels high, but you could upload that banner image and that would add a little bit more custom customization to your page. I'll show you what that looks like. You can also up upload a customized background if you wanted to, uh, which would be the background around here, and make that work. Uh, because of the time limits, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do all that, but I want you to know that, that it's there. Then you can set up your blog permissions. And so you can say, all logged in users have the ability to read and write, or just read, or no access to my blog. So you can have a private blog. Or I can say, all authentic, un unauthenticated users, what can they do? No access, access, you know, that kind of stuff. I usually just say no access, and that way people on the outside can't see your blog. It's just sort of private to you and those that are on your server that you've given uh, access to. And then you have a comments engine that's built in. And so you can say, hey, uh, authenticated users can comment, or anyone can comment, or nobody if you don't want comments. And then you can moderate the comments that are up there. So if people put something up that you don't want up there, you can delete it before it gets put up there. And you can say moderate all comments or only uh, anonymous comments for people that, you know, if you have it open to everybody and they don't put a real name in, it'll allow you to moderate it. Or you can choose none. So it gives you a little bit of control. Each user can do this for their blog and get that set up. So let me cancel that because I've already got that up and running. And let me show you what that looks like. So again, here is my here is here is uh, myself. And so I'm going to go to, uh, let's just click on me for a second. And so this is my personal page. And what I did is I just uh, did a little work, said welcome to my page, and uploaded uh, just a little graphic there. If you look here, you can edit this page the same as the other pages I was showing you. Again, if I click the pencil, you'll notice all the same things are up here, and I can change this and make it look however I want. I can even take things off if I don't like what's on there. So I do have the ability to edit this. Uh, I'm just going to cancel. Uh, you'll notice across the top as well that I've got, the, I've got a profile, which is this main page here. I've got an activity page which shows basically all of the different things that I have done and you can see when I did it uh, with my uh, name and all that kind of information so that you can see when I've made those changes happen. Uh, it shows me anything that is unread with the little dot here and it shows me anything that I favorited with a star and so I can favorite the different things that I've got uh, on here. And then I can just sort them by unread, I can sort them by favorites, that kind of thing and it allows me to kind of go through and see my own activity. Uh, I've got each user has their own documents page where it shows documents that they've uploaded. And the nice thing is any documents that you've uploaded on here, uh, those things will be accessible through the web dev services that I'll show you later. Uh, and I've got the same opportunity. I've got favorites or deleted that I can see here just by clicking these tabs. And I can sort by title and all that kind of information. Uh, now we've been talking about the blog, and so here's the blog on this side right here. And so on the blog, it just kind of has a uh, setup, right? Where here's some different things that I blogged about. You know, I did something on a on a picture here that I was playing around with. Uh, so you've basically got a blog that you can uh, set up. Again, you can favorite individual posts and those kinds of things. But it just shows you your blog. And again, it's a very simple blog, nothing uh, fancy. Uh, again, even within the blog, you can view your favorites and your deleted items uh, if you've got any of those there. Okay, so that, that kind of gives you an idea of how that works uh, just for a blog. And so for a new post, you would just click the plus button and I can say, hey, new blog post uh, in this particular, um, on my blog. I click that, you click a title, uh, I'll say testing so that you can see that, click add, and then it gives you the ability now to create your blog. And so I can edit it, I can uh, use all of the same editing features on here and just say, uh, you know, type over this, this is a test, blog post. Okay, so that gives me that on there, and if I wanted to add a picture, I could upload that or a document. I could come over here, and I can tag it if I wanted to. I just click the plus button to add tags, and I would just say, uh, let's say test. Let's make a test tag. I click that, and I can add as many tags as I want, and then those tags become uh, searchable. I can uh, view things by tag.
Uh, I can also link to any related items. And so if I wanted to say, well, I want to link it to my vaca vacation photos because that's related. And so there I've related that on the wiki so people can get to that. If I wanted to add a comment to my own post, I could add a comment. Uh, this is uh, a great post. Yeah, so which it really isn't because I said nothing, but I could say this is a great post. Click the plus button. Now that's attached to this particular post. I've got a history that shows me who's viewed it when. And then I've got notifications that I can set up that I email me when the document is updated or when a comment is added. And so it really gives you kind of that interactive feel uh, to your blog. Uh, again, it's, it's very basic and standard. Not a ton of customization around here. I mean, you can do some of it. But uh, it gives you kind of a good idea on how uh, a blog can be set up and how you can make that work. So I'm just going to click Save. And so there we are. Now the post has been made in this particular setup. Now I can click the More button over here as well. And here I can get to the calendar, to the blog, or to tags. And if I just click Tags for a minute so you can see that, here are different tags that I've set up. And if I click Photo, Tag, it'll show me everything that's tagged Photo. So it gives me some of those search and sort uh, kinds of things in a search. If I wanted to, uh, I could make those things happen. So let me go back here. I'm going to go back to myself and back to my profile page. Now it shows different uh, documents that I've uploaded here. Uh, I can set my notifications over here and then again I can set, see my history. And This is for myself and my own individual profile. So let's look, that gives you an in, uh, uh, idea of the individual page. Let's look now at the uh, wiki uh, for a second so you can see what that looks like. Here's a wiki that was created. If I wanted to create a new wiki I could do that right here and just say new wiki and basically you put a name and a description and uh, let me walk you through that so you can see it so I'll say test wiki and here it is okay so nothing fancy if I go continue then I set the permissions so I'm gonna say uh, I want everybody to have read and write unauthenticated users no access click continue choose my color scheme let's do red so that's a little different I could change the icon if I wanted to but I'm just gonna leave that alone click create and go to the wiki so here's the new wiki and you can see it's got my color scheme and everything It says test wiki and that's how you set that up so you can add these at any time if you don't like it you want to make changes to it you, uh, I really didn't like this wiki you can just click delete wiki it says are you sure I say yes and now it's gone it's not on the list anymore it's it's disappeared so here is a, a wiki that I've set up to give you an idea what they look like uh, if I just click on this wiki here uh, you can see I've set this up here as a, a wiki page that I can add things to. You can see I've got a blog attached to this wiki that I've added uh, my different information to when you saw my blog earlier. Uh, to show you, let me just click the pencil here. To show you how I added this together, you can see here's how I did the rows and I just added pictures into each of these slots and it resized it for me uh, to fit the spacing that I had set up there. So that's how you would uh, use that uh, grid area uh, just to kind of make a bunch of pictures in a row. I'm just going to click cancel and let it go there. So that's uh, that's how the wiki goes and then uh, again from here I can add um, you know I can add information. I can upload a file, I can upload a new page, I can do a new blog post. Uh, so it gives me it gives me a few things that I can do and then if I wanted to keep track of the activity of everybody I just click activity and uh, you can see my activity here. If I go to people, then you can see the different activity for different people here in the last time that they updated the things that they had. And so it gives you the ability to also track the people that you're with. So as you can see, it's a pretty uh, pretty simple service, but it allows you uh, to do a lot of things that you could do uh, on your own, especially for a home website. This would work out pretty well where you could share your information and documents and those kinds of things. Uh, in a future screencast, what I'm going to do is show you how to be able to access those from your iOS devices. So that's all I have for you this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.